Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to e-commerce platforms. Today we have a really special episode for you. We're going to be going through how to add a product in BigCommerce. BigCommerce is one of our favorite e-commerce platforms to use. It's great for small and larger organizations alike. However, we do know it can be very confusing to add products and set up your store. So today, we're gonna to be walking through the entire process from start to finish on how to add products so that you can go home and do the same thing. And what's great is that by the end of this video, you're going to be feeling extremely comfortable throughout this whole process. We're gonna be going through adding a product you know, even the tricky stuff like setting up taxes and you know, having bulk order discounts. All of that will be included today. So let's dive in, here we go. Alrighty, so step one, I want you to go to the products page. You can actually access this in two sections. The first is either in the left sidebar, uh, there's a products tab, or you can go to the main dashboard and click add products. This will actually open the products page where you'll be able to add or edit all your product related content. All right, step two, now moving on to the sales channels. From the channels dropdown, I want you to select all the channels that you want to sell on. So for instance, this could include all your marketplace integrations like Amazon and Etsy. Uh, once you do this, you click assign to channels and then tap manage availability and hit done. Now we move on to step three. So this is actually adding all your product details. Um, so for instance, the name, the SKU, the type, etc. So here I'm gonna call it a workout vest the SKU is gonna be WV110, and it's gonna be a physical product. Now, I wanna add the price here as well. So here, I'm gonna set it at 199. Um, I'm gonna add the brand where it's either common good, uh, and then finally, I'm gonna add the weight as well, and this helps for shipping. After this, I can actually add the category. Um, and it's important to note that these details can be further tweaked in different sections. BigCommerce does a great job uh, by allowing you to add the important details first. And they divide these details into different sections, which we'll cover in later parts of the video. Now we move on to details and identifiers. So here we can add a bunch more details. I traditionally use ChatGPT to help me with the descriptions. Um, and then we talk about you know, description, uh, images as well, and the importance of alt tags for SEO. So it's important when you're adding images I want you to add really high quality ones. And then these tags are super important as well because they're gonna help with your SEO. Now, BigCommerce also allows us to add identifiers like uh, GTIN, uh, BPN, etc., to help better organize our store. So now we move on to pricing and taxes. So BigCommerce actually allows you to add a tax class to every single product and customize every aspect of pricing. So if you click the advanced pricing option, it brings down a section where you can add the cost, the MSRP, and even the sales price. What's super cool is that they also have a handy bulk pricing tool, which is super easy to use as well. So that actually helps you uh, improve your average order value drastically because you can offer discounts, um, either a fixed percentage off, uh, in this case, I'm gonna do a dollars off per unit, and I'm gonna say that uh, if you order two, well, guess what? We're gonna give you a $49 discount. And so now that is basically popped in. If we wanna add more bulk discounts, we can do that as well. So if, it, or if you use orders three, we're gonna give them $79 a discount. Uh, and then we move on to the inventory settings. So big commerce is incredibly flexible in terms of inventory. You can track the inventory at the product level or even the variant level. So for instance, if you have t-shirts in four colors, you can actually track inventory for each color. Now, let's go to variant options. So variants are one of the strongest points of big commerce. The editor is so, so easy to use. And here you can actually define the variant type and how you wanna show it on the front end. Uh, you can even decide on a default value for each variant. So the variant table generated by big commerce is a great feature as well. Uh, it allows you to quickly assign photos, SKUs, and pricing for each variant in a really easy way. Then we move on to modify options. So BigCommerce you know, has a native feature to collect information for the customers. Now this is extremely useful if you wanna collect a custom message from your users. BigCommerce also makes it really flexible and you can even define the number of letters that are allowed. 
Uh, and other platforms traditionally require a third party app for such a feature. But here we can say that, hey, I want to actually have a minimum of 10 characters and a maximum of 200. Next, we move on to storefront settings. It has a dedicated section of how you want the product to show on your storefront. So here I'm adding keywords that allow users to search for your product, which is great for SEO and navigation. Uh, I'll, I'll add workout, vest and fitness. And then you can actually tweak every aspect like the order of appearance the template to use for each product, even warranty information. There's also underneath, we can say, hey, set the availability. Uh, and then finally, there's actually a condition section where you can sort by new, you can sort by used or refurbished. And you can either toggle whether to show that on the storefront or not. So step 10 is shipping and fulfillment. So here you can define the product dimensions and the shipping price for each product individually. They also have a shipping detail section where you can have and add a fixed shipping price or you can toggle for free shipping. Next is the purchasability section, which th this feature is amazing. You can accept pre-orders or even define the maximum and minimum purchase quantities from this section. They also offer inbuilt gift wrapping options that you can display on the product page. So here you can toggle between three options there. And then finally, for international sellers, you can add certain custom rules. So this makes it effortless to calculate any customs, uh, you know, import taxes. It also gives peace of mind to your users. It's a great way to build trust among international customers as well. So then we have the SEO settings. Um, here, SEO features in big commerce is pretty robust actually. You can define the meta title, the URL, and even the description. But where big commerce really shines is this open graph sharing section. So here, sellers can select from a predefined list Right, and not only that, you can actually tweak it further to your liking. So this is great for SEO because it helps you get indexed faster. So finally, you're almost done. You've got the save and the preview section. Uh, in the bottom right, you can see the save. And if you click the arrow, there's a number of options that pop up. Now here, you can actually preview the product to ensure that everything's okay. But I'm gonna hit save. It's gonna take some time. But then eventually we're gonna see the toast pop up that says, that my product has been saved successfully. And there you have it guys, that is the step-by-step -step process on how to add a product in big commerce. I hope you found that really helpful. We're gonna be doing much more guides and demos along the way. So please comment below if you found value from that. Thanks so much, we'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.